Good morning guys, it is time to work out, but before that, it is time to shake it. So today, I am shaking, oh is this pink lemonade? A pink lemonade zip fizz, absolutely. Oh, that was easy. All right, let's shake it in three, two, one. Staying on plan. Oh, right here. Right here. Oh, yeah. Madeline. Madeline, be a good girl. Say today's your last day of being a ratty Maddie. Who's going to the groomers, Maddie? Who's gonna get a haircut? Look at me, Jesus. You know who's gonna look at me, Maddie? Milton, Milton. Your bubby's gonna get all the attention. What do you think about that, Madeline? Give me paw. Good girl. <laughs> no matter what, you will give me that paw. You are an angel princess. Now I know I done called Milton. There he is, there's the good boy. Do you wanna sit? Do you wanna sit, Milton? Okay, or just talk with your sister. Sit. Sit to where you're going. Are oh, you just gonna plop down? Okay, good boy. Good boy. Okay guys, I actually met a man that owns a video production company that produces a lot of commercials here locally around Louisville. And I saw him producing a video and I saw his announcers or the voiceover people reading the lines for the commercial. And I casually mentioned like, Oh my God, like I would be great at that. Me and my mother have this thing. We've always had this thing where we said we could be the woman's voice in the airport. The moving sidewalk is now ending. Please look down. I was like, if you ever need, you know, someone else to, to read your commercials, let me know. And he was like, yeah, well actually I'm always looking for female voices to like read stuff. So sure. And I was just like, okay, I'm never gonna hear from this guy again. He was just like, hey, I wrote up some new scripts. Wanna come see me this week and read them? And I was just like, Oh my gosh, like, you guys, what if my voice ends up on the TV, huh? What if you're watching a commercial about your favorite local bar or something in Louisville or Lexington and you hear my voice? Like, wouldn't that be nuts? So like, I'm actually on my way to the studio to like record some voiceover work. I'm kind of wigging out, so. <laughs> I've been having a good work day so far, but I'm gonna take like an hour to do this and then I'll be back to the grind. Okay guys, I am done. I am on my way back home. It took me longer to get there than it did for the actual recording. Like it was exhilarating and amazing and like lasted for 14 seconds. That is what she said. Wow, wow, okay. But either way, it was a really cool experience. Craft beer, local food. Enjoy that and more at the bar on National Avenue in Lexington. Serving handcrafted beers, gourmet wood-fired pizzas, burgers, and much more. Only at The Bar on National Avenue in Lexington. Nailed it! Okay guys, here we have these pigs in a blanket. This is just three hot dogs, those crepini egg thins, I used two per dog, two slices of American cheese, and some mustard. I just heated the three hot dogs up in the microwave. When those came out, I put the crepini egg thins in the microwave for 30 seconds, assembled them using a base layer of cheese, and mustard, and that is it. Mmm, these are so good. And now I'm about to test another facet of the recipe, which is their portability, because I just got a call from the groomer saying that Milton and Madeline are ready. So I'm gonna take these dogs so I can pick up my other dogs. Okay guys, I am on a work call right now, but I'm also having some tuna salad and 
pork rinds. You saw I just took tuna, mayo, mustard, relish, whipped that on up with some salt and pepper, and I put it on top of some hot and spicy pork rinds. Mmm. Mmm. Let me pull out my Food Network adjectives. Woo! The creaminess of the tuna with the mayo mixed with the salty bite of the pork rind and that heat that just comes as you eat it. Woo! So many different temperatures and textures. Mmm! Oh yeah! Oh yeah, this is gourmet right here. What you know about mixing textures? Ooh! Mmm! Mmm! The sweetness of the relish. Mmm! The tartness, the acidity from the mustard. Tell me I couldn't be Giada De Laurentiis right now. You know you love Giada. How she be overpronouncing Italian pasta types. Come on, Giada. Spaghetti. Who are you, who are you fooling, Giada? Time for my chocolate peanut butter keto bar and I'm so excited. I've had these before. I remember liking them but I haven't had them so recent enough that I remember how much I like them, so. Let's see what we got hollering about here. Oh, also for my meal prep video, I was gonna tell you whether or not I like that glazed donut ice cream. First of all, it was delicious. Second of all, I don't think it tasted like a glazed donut. It was more like a birthday cake, which is also great. Like it had sprinkles on it, which I guess, you know, like donuts have sprinkles, but still, nope. It's definitely more of a birthday cake. It had like a chocolate swirl, which I also think they attribute to the glazed, chocolate glazed donut. Like stop, stop trying to make it work. It's not gonna work. But I mean, the taste was delicious. It was like vanilla with sprinkles and then had like a chocolate swirl mixed in. It was great. All right, let's try this. I'll put a link to keto bars in the description box below. Looks pretty decent, like whole ingredients. Mmm. Mmm. Oh yeah. I get that immediate no-bake cookie feel, like crumbly and like dense. I feel like the coconut is taking the place of the oatmeal. Let me make sure that's coconut. Yeah, peanut butter, chocolate, coconut. I mean, gee louise, the only ingredients are peanut butter, chocolate, coconut, erythritol, water, salt, and stevia. I mean, you can make this at home. This is great. I'm a fan. Yeah, I mean, this is just good. It's a little bitter from the chocolate, but the sweetness is on point. You can taste the peanut butter and the coconut. I mean, perfect substitute for my fat bomb. Starting to make my mouth close together. <laughs> so I know I'm gonna need some water after this. So I'm gonna eat this and drink some water and then figure out what I'll be back for later. Mmm. Uh, guys, I, I think I invented a new food. Like, I've created this chocolate fat concoction because honestly, bulletproof coffee is a lot of work, okay? You gotta heat up the coffee, then you gotta pour it over everything, and then you gotta like let it mix together. Like it's just too much, but I wanted the calories. I wanted the macros. So I was just gonna eat this, Lee's ghee. So I was like, let me just taste a little bit of it. And it is delicious. Like imagine the least sweet flavored caramel that you can, but like it still tastes like caramel. So I decided to put some in this little container right here, but then I thought to myself like, well, wait a minute, then what if I just mix in the keto collagen chocolate powder directly into that? Hmm? Then I got crazy and I was just like, well, that's probably gonna be a little too thick, so what if I thin it with some heavy whipping cream? What? And so it turns out, this is all the fat that is supposed to go in my Bulletproof coffee? Sands the coffee, what? So in here, I have two tablespoons of Lee's Ghee. I have a scoop of that chocolate collagen keto protein powder, and I have two tablespoons of heavy whipping cream. Oh my God. This is, I mean, this is amazing. Like this on top of a keto bar, what? Oh my God, like I could dip, I could break my keto bar up into bits and dip it into this. Wow, wow, wow. This is one of those times right here where you're like, I can't believe I have been on this diet for two years and I'm just now finding stuff that I still love this much. So I'm gonna eat that and have some Jello because once I go sit down to watch TV, I know I'm not gonna wanna get back up, so I'm going ahead and taking these over there with me, but like, this was an amazing discovery today. Don't forget I have a code for this preferred keto chocolate collagen. It is delicious. It's in the description box below. Okay, I'm off to get my entire chocolate caramel pudding life Bye. Milton, who's my, who's my, who's my groomed boy?
Who's my pretty haircut boy? Where y'all going? Don't come back. This is my meaty girl, my meaty, my meaty girl. Okay, you guys, the day is over. I am done eating. I've been done for a while. Overall, today was great. My meal prep is awesome. It is very satisfying and tasty, exactly what I want. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel, Watch Autumn Keto. I make weekly meal preps, weekly what I eat Wednesdays, monthly weigh-ins, monthly keto crate unboxings, and the occasional product review and recipe. You can also follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Patreon at Watch Autumn Keto. Thanks, and I'll see you next week.